Alright. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is the second chapter of Tales of Symphonia. Not really. Well, it's the... I don't know what video we're on, but it's not the... It's far from the second video. Uh, but this is kind of the beginning of the second story arc. So I wanted to start with the title screen again. Same disc. Well, there's no discs. This is the Steam version. But, um... Same disc. It's still disc one on the GameCube version, so that's interesting. I was like, when, but the first time I played this, I was like, when, when, when does disc two gonna? When is disc two actually gonna happen? Uh, and it hasn't yet. So this is. It just goes to show how long of a game this is. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get back to it. So which one of these? Yeah, definitely the one without Kratos for reasons. Because. Previously, we, well, a lot of stuff happened last time. We lost Kratos, the party member, because he betrayed us when we fought him. And I think we lost pretty badly. Well, actually, we put up kind of a fight, but, I pre but we still lost. And um, now we're here. We're in the design, design base. But they're not actually designs or something. I don't know. Uh, well, I do know. But I'm not going to tell you yet, because things are still shrouded in mystery. Colette is also... Like, out of. She, she could still join the party, but she is a zombie. She's not a zombie. She's a vessel for Martell. She has lost her soul, or at least her soul, her personality is locked away somewhere. Uh, and we need to. It's like locked in the Crucius Crystal. And we need to figure out how to help Colette, because we're kind of done with this whole journey of regeneration nonsense. Because the angels turned out to be bad guys. What's up with that? Anyway. Let's go in here. Um, <clears throat> also, their leader, Yggdrasil, said he was also the leader of the Desions. So the Desions and Crucius, the people who um, are the angels and you know do the whole, are in charge of the whole chosen thing. They're bad. They, they, they're bad news. They tricked us into doing something that wasn't actually as good as we thought it was for some reason. Somehow. I mean. We don't know if... Well, let's change it. Let's change the Sorcerer's Ring. This is just a function we've seen already. It's this. The little spark ball. Sparky ball. Thunderball. I don't know. Um, But... Yeah, so anyway. A lot happened <laughs> in the first arc of the game, and it was spectacular. But now I'm running around in circles. I'm not really paying attention because I'm trying to tell you guys what... I'm trying to give a recap on what happened. And, um, yeah. But anyway, uh, we have a little puzzle to solve here. We're actually still on the run from the blue-haired dude with the long hair. Like, uh, those guys, you know. They captured us. They actually saved us, because Eudrasio was going to kill us. I want to get those treasure chests. Sorry. I'm really not paying attention. I need to focus. I need to focus. I can't focus on talking about past and going forward into the future at the same time and you have no idea how relevant that is to my actual the actual theme of my life let's just say okay so i believe what we need to do oh you know what i okay i need to knock that block off of that platform first before i can do anything so i need you for a second i don't know why some of these blocks are well, actually i do know why some of these blocks have, like, wooden paneling on them or something, and some of them don't. The ones without the, without the brown, like, wooden texture can go into these little blue... If you put them, if you put, like, that block onto that, it'll sink down and activate a switch, and we don't want to do that yet. So anyway, we created a bridge to that platform. Let's grab this block. Now we have three blocks to work with. Yay! Um... Okay. Before I push this block onto there, I need all three blocks to cross bridge two here and one there so I can grab those treasure chests. I forget what's in those chests. Wait, wait a minute. What? No. <laughs> no, I don't want to build a bridge to the steps. But yeah, so, um, last time we did leave things off on quite a cliffhanger. Um, we don't know what we're doing pretty much. We're just trying to live, we're just trying to survive and escape from this base. 
and then after that we're going to try to save Colette. Kratos is nowhere to be seen. We don't, the world's not regenerated yet, and we don't know if it ever will be now, because we don't want to sacrifice Colette anymore. Also, nobody told Lloyd that Colette was going to die when she becomes an angel. Like, the whole process of becoming the Chosen, or like, the angel transformation. Rain was hiding, at least Rain was, I don't know if... I don't, yeah, I don't think Genus knew either. I think it was just Rain and Kratos who knew. Obviously Kratos knew, because he's an angel himself. And he's not dead, so what gives? But anyway, they know that, um... They knew that Colette was going to die, or essentially, for all intents and purposes, die when she became an angel because she'd become just a vessel. So, she basically is... She's not exactly dead yet, because she didn't actually... Like, Martell is not inhabiting her... yet. So, she's like somewhere between alive and dead. But anyway... Straw hat. Wow, what a wonderful... I think it's like a unique piece of equipment, but it's not very good. And an X-Gem level 2, which is always good. Alright, so we got these. Excuse me. Alright, so um, now I believe we pushed down that switch. Is there anything to do over here? But yeah, Colette, um, yeah, Rain didn't want to, you know, make Lloyd, discourage Lloyd from, you know, regenerating the world, because that'll save everybody, right? One person sacrificing their whole, their own single life will save the world. But now we have doubts that that's even actually true. Because the Crucius don't really seem trustworthy. So we might as well save Colette while we're at it. You know, if her dying isn't actually going to do anything good, we might as well... She might as well not die. Um, so this switch... go. Opens that hatch. And we can go downstairs. Alright. I'm so paranoid. Like, the, like, what is this? This this is for nothing. These stairs lead nowhere and never can't. There's no way to do anything with them. So, yeah. They're just there to trick you. Or something. So anyway, we can go downstairs now. I There's a hidden treasure chest somewhere behind one of these things. Is this it? I'm tr I'm really, really being careful to make sure I don't miss anything, because I don't think I can ever come back to this base. That might not be true. I don't know. But, um, let's go downstairs. Alright, more puzzle stuff. There's water, there's electricity. This is totally going to end well for us. Somebody's going to get electrocuted. Uh, insufficient power, please charge. Okay, so we do need to charge these things. Just like the first time we came to this base with just Lloyd, in a totally different room, or set of rooms. And, uh... Come on, this tells us Symphonia. I, I'm not gonna forget what to do. I, I, I will never forget the solutions to this. I've played this game so many times, I'm never gonna... It's, it's no mystery to me. I know where everything is, I say, as I... Uh, struggle for a second. I th you know what? Wait, what do I do? <laughs> uh, that brought the elevator down. And then... Do I just... Do I push the the water for some reason? No. Okay. I think I just tore my theory. A new one. Oh, wait, wait. I'm done. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So the elevator is actually already up here. It's this thing. It's this. This is the top of the elevator. And we need a couple blocks to make a bridge. And I think they have to be going vertically. Latitude. Longitude. Longitude. Longitudinal. That's a word, right? There's definitely an adjective version of latitude and longitude. But why don't we just say vertically? It's not really vertically, though, because we have an overhead view. And from Lloyd's perspective, it's just from front to back. This is a very... I'm sure this conversation I'm having with myself is so interesting. Alright. Oh, do we have to... Yeah, that came uncharged, because we left the room, and I missed. And I missed again. Depth perception is a little difficult here. 
this uh, power for the Sorcerer's Ring has like a lag time. You can only have so many charge balls out at once. So you have to wait for one of them to disappear before you can uh, before you can make another one. So anyway, um, now we're on the other side. I believe this is the treasure chest I was thinking of. Protect ring. That's actually a really good item, if I recall. Let me see. It is a... Wait. It's... Oh, okay. Who, who is the protect ring for? I don't know. Straw hat is good for genus. That's kind of funny. Um, protect ring? Where's the protect ring? Oh, it's right there. It was right in front of me. Uh, so it raises, it reduces physical damage, but raises elemental damage. It's pretty good. It, it, it actually is pretty... It, um, oh, it, yeah, we don't want to take off the warrior symbol, but I'm not going to equip it right now, but it is pretty good against uh, physical, physically strong enemies who don't really use spells. Because it, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the front door. We want to go in, in there, or out there. Energy charge confirmed. That little Rosetta Stone looking high tech touchscreen thing is like broken. Unless that's how it's supposed to be shaped. I don't know. Um, press the switch. That drains the water. I'm sure we could have just swam, swum down there if we needed to. But we don't. There's no swim mechanic in this game, as I'm sure you've noticed. We did the water temple, and we didn't swim there, so if we were going to swim anywhere, we would have been there, right? Alright, so... I love the sound of those footsteps. Those are the most cartoony sounding. Also, oh yeah, if you go on here, or down there, especially right here, you can see the treasure chest that would have been hidden otherwise. I knew where it was anyway. But it doesn't matter. Um, now we push this down there. Push it. Okay. And doing so. Well, that's a really distracting sound, I'm not gonna lie. Part of the charm of this game, though. Anyway, that opens that. We, c we opened the door. I guess the door opened. It did. And that's about it. I think that's the whole dungeon aspect of this place that we're done with. Uh, we didn't miss anything, right? No. Nope, I don't think so. Anyway, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Damn it! What's so special about me? Well, you're the main character. Those renegades need to hurry up and make up their freaking minds about whether they're our enemies or not. Lloyd, what are we going to do now? We've got to save Colette somehow. She's going to die if she's made into Martell's vessel. But what can we do? Sheena, where did you get your X-Sphere? Huh? Well, that came out of nowhere. I got this before I came here. They attached it to me at the Imperial Research Academy. Is it normal for people to equip X-Spheres in Teveala? No, not at all. The technology was originally brought over by the Renegades. Nowadays, X-Spheres are mainly attached to machines. Wait a second. So Tepeala and the Renegades are on the same side? I'm not sure if you could say that, but the Renegades were the ones that brought us information about the nature of the two worlds. And the plan to assassinate the Chosen was their idea. They talked the King and the Pope into it. If you desire for Tepeala to prosper, kill the Chosen of Silverant. That's horrible! Lloyd, I suggest we go to Tepeala. Why Tepeala? Don't you remember what Ewan said? Angels are half-elves that evolved using special X-spheres called Crucius Crystals. Oh, I get it. Colette's current condition is caused by the Crucius Crystal. Since Tethayala is studying the X-spheres, they may know something about Crucius Crystals as well. That's a good idea. I'm pretty sure that they're studying the Crucius Crystal that belongs to Tethayala's Chosen at the Imperial Research Academy. There's a Chosen in Tethayala too? Of course. The World Regeneration Ritual is carried out in Tepeala as well. The Church of Martell exists too. But if they've been carrying out the regeneration that many times, why hasn't Martell's vessel been completed already? I'm curious about that myself. Perhaps those corpses lined up in the Tower of Salvation were... 
No, never mind. Rain, we already put two and two together. Anyway. Yeah. There are too many things that we don't know. Crucius's objective, the renegades, the method to save Colette. So let's just start with what we can do now. So, we're going to Tetheala? Yeah. That's the only lead we have right now. And this time, I'm going to fulfill my role. I'm not going to let Colette bear the burden all by herself anymore. Wait a minute. That's great and all, but how are we going to get to Tetheala? I'm sure Sheena knows how to get there, correct? My understanding is that you can travel to Tetheala by passing through a distortion in space. As far as I know, crafts called Riyads are the only things that can do that. Where are they? The Renegades should have them. They should be somewhere on this base. Okay then, let's get going. Yeah, well, don't you know, just a little bit of pixie dust, and then the first star on the left and straight on till morning. Or something, the first star on the right? Is it the left or the right? Or north? I don't know. I know Peter Pan! I should know this. Anyway. Uh, but Neverland Tetheala is not. And now we're gonna... Not only are we escaping from the Renegades, but we're gonna steal their... vehicles. Um... So this is a familiar area. This is where Lloyd was earlier. There's no reason to go back here. That's where... Yeah, he doesn't want to... Let's not go back to where Lloyd was uh, in prison. I don't think there's any reason to do that. But we do want to go over here, because if we recall... If you recall, there was a hangar... in here somewhere. There's too many of them! Oh my goodness. You rocked it! So yeah. Are you kidding me? As you can see, the renegades have upped their forces, up their game since we were the last. Beefy boy, who are you? You're evil. I'm pretty sure we've seen these guys before. Have we seen these guys before? seen Evil Warrior? I think we have, but just in case... Magic Lens. Okay. Oh yeah, how much, uh, how many, like, ingredients do we have? What are we cooking? Risotto? Okay. Alright. Let's make some, make some risotto. Genus is the master Chef of chefery of cookery. Of... He's a master chef, and he doesn't have any milk, and that makes me sad. But anyway, uh, no, not that way. That's the okay. that's the way to the uh... that's the way to the exit, like the entry hall that Lloyd from which Lloyd escapes. And there's no reason to go back there. Again. I believe the term for what I'm doing is Korean messaging, which is uh, fighting every battle as they come, not escaping from anything. And by that measure, with that strategy, I will be at the level I'm supposed to be at. I might be a little over leveled, actually, I'm not sure. Am I over leveled? What level am I usually at? 29. Almost level 30. I think I'm a little bit overleveled for this point in the game. Okay. Oh, yes, I dodged that. Like, bro. How many encounters are we at? Three, two, four. Okay. Whatever. So these are the Riards. Hurry, they'll catch up to us. This is the first time we're hearing the Riard music. It's a good track. Alright then. Tepeola, here we come. It's pretty cool. It's, a, it's This is basically the airship track for the game. Because we have our airship now, right? We're going to be able to fly everywhere from now on. We'll see if that's true. Anyway, and look, they're like little individual bikes. Like, not everybody's on one ship. It's like Lloyd on a little air bike. That is just what the... It's kind of iconic for this game. 
believe Tales of Fantasia had Riards too. They kind of pioneered that style of airship. But anyway, let's see how this is going to get us to Tethayala. When your mark gets set, go. Fire it up. I don't know. It just suddenly... Look, the fuel gauge is empty. So that's it. Since you've broken the seals in Silverant, there's not enough mana in this world. And that means... We're gonna fall! Ah! Ah! Huh. So, um... Well, I knew that would happen, but... I think we managed to avoid destroying them completely. Okay, um, just, just as a tangent, or not really a tangent, but it's a commentary. That anime cutscene was new. I've never seen that before. That was awesome that they put that at such a crucial moment uh, in the game. Because before it was just like, they go through the portal and like you know you go you leave the base and then it goes to that like scene where they're flying with like the special dialogue boxes on the bottom but um also so so the anime cutscene yeah that was pretty pretty rad and uh uh what was i gonna say oh yeah the music stopped the, the music like that cool airship music wasn't playing during the dialogue once they actually went through and that totally changed the whole mood of that scene. It made it a lot more dire. Like, oh, whoa, we're here. Okay, well, it's quiet, too quiet. And uh, now we're crashing. It made it a lot more, like, uh, ominous. Because normally the airship... In the GameCube version, the airship music was still playing there. But anyway, now we have this... this I, I love this track that's playing here. I think it's so beautiful. And so it's one of my favorite dungeon themes in the game. Because it's, like, inspiring and nature -y. And it, we've never heard it before, so... Welcome to Tethayala. Anyway. But they're useless unless we get some fuel. What's the fuel? Coal? Coal? Oh, jeez. How do you guys manage to actually live in Silverant? Then magic, I assume. Perhaps the lightning that Volt produces? Also, that's the first time we've ever heard of Volt, who is the summon spirit of lightning wasn't in Silverant, so, um, where did they think, where did Rain think Volt was? Then all we have to do is have Sheena summon Volt, right? I haven't made a pact with Volt. Oh, well, then I guess we'll just have to leave these here. Oh, and here I thought Magi technology was infallible. Hey, what's that? That's the Tower of Salvation. Why is that here? This is Tepeala, right? Of course. The Tower of Salvation appears in the Flourishing World. The Tower also appeared on your side after Colette received the Oracle, right? Two worlds. Two towers. Lord of the Rings. What about the Holy Ground? The Church of Martell is also over here, correct? Is the Holy Ground called Carlon? Yes. The place where the Tower of Salvation lies is the Holy Ground of Carlon. The same is in your world. The Holy Ground of Carlon is where the peace treaty was signed to end the ancient war. There can't be two of them. Are you sure yours isn't a fake? We have records in our museums that depict how the hero Mythos called the two ancient kings to the Holy Ground of Carlon in order to forge a peace treaty. And such records exist on our side as well. Instruments used to sign the treaty can be found in the Palma Costa Academy. So, either one side is fake, or maybe they're actually both real. Lloyd, that's not possible. Don't get mad, I was just kind of saying stuff. Anyway, let's get going. It's true we aren't going to get anywhere by pondering about it here. Wow, it's our first adventure in Tetheala. 
Genus, this isn't a field trip. All right. Oh, we got an achievement for that because we cleared Silverant. Somebody's got to be Kratos. Well, Kratos isn't here, by the way. <laughs> the, the, this isn't a field trip. Yeah. Harkening back to the beginning of the game. Anyway. I gotta say, that was quite a surprise. Indeed, you don't get the opportunity to fly through the sky very often. Or fall from the sky, either. It can't be helped. When you break the seals in Silveron, the mana over here grows thin. Mana, I mean. Even so, it's still a lot thicker over here than in Silveron. Oh, you can tell that? Of course, because Genus and the Professor are elves. Why can elves tell that? Well, because they're elves. Lissai. Anyway. Um, so the Riards are totally totaled. <laughs> and uh, so no, we will not be having an airship this yet, quite yet in the game. This early in the game, I was going to say. It is still kind of early in the grand scheme of Tales of Symphonia, more or less. Well, it, it sort of is. You know, we're, we're in a new arc, so there's still a lot of story left, as you might be able to tell. Anyway, who's a hypocrite? What's going on here? Colette! Hey, Colette! Can you hear me? It looks like she can't even tell you're talking to her right now. She has her wings out. Damn it, at, at that moment, facing the decision between Colette and the world, for a split second, I chose the world. Even though it's nothing but a false peace. It was unavoidable. When a single decision you could make could destroy the world. Casually choosing your friend's life instead would have been a strange choice indeed. Still, at that moment, I abandoned Colette. I'm a hypocrite, damn it. Um... So I don't really think you're a hypocrite, Lloyd, because when you're presented with new information that totally turns everything you knew upside down, uh, I think that's when you actually do change your mind about the decisions you make. Because that's not... You would only be a hypocrite if, like, you... If nothing changed and then you decided, like... Well, maybe not. I don't think he would abandon Colette unless it was, like, totally dire like it was. Anyway, and he didn't abandon Colette. So, flying. Man, that was the first time I've ever flown between two worlds. Although we wound up falling, there was insufficient energy, so that couldn't be helped. Yeah, I really want to fly again, but I guess now isn't really the time for that. Yes, we need to hurry. I love how, like, beside himself, Genus is about the whole, like, crashing thing. It's kind of funny. Uh, anyway. So. Save points are still the same in Tethiala. You thought they wouldn't be? I don't know. There's still Unity. It's not a different game. Don't worry about it. What's wrong, Lloyd? Uh, nothing. It's just I hurt the people of Azalea. And this time I couldn't protect Colette, either. I thought I had gotten a little stronger, but now I think I haven't progressed at all. Lloyd, but you've always tried to do the best you could. You didn't give up, and now we've made it all the way to Tethayala. You're not like the other humans. And so that's why I like you, Lloyd. Thanks, Genus. Okay then, we've come all the way here and all. We're not going to give up now. We're going to find a way to save Colette and the world. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Alright. And doll. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, not much has changed. Same game, same gameplay. But you know what has changed? Oh wait. Not, this skit hasn't changed. The angel who appeared in the Tower of Salvation, he was unbelievably powerful. Yes, I sense a power unlike anything we've faced so far. Even I thought we were going to die that time. Yggdrasil, that's what Kratos called him. Yggdrasil, huh. But you know what has changed, I was gonna say? You're gonna regret this! <laughs> this rockin' song! Oh yeah, we better, uh, do this. 
But yeah, like a glint of light. That's the name of this song. Here, no way. As opposed to the Silveron theme, which was called Full Force. And we've got a whole batch of new enemies here. Even though we've seen enemies like them. Egg Bear is a uh, Tales of staple. It's a bear that hatched from an egg. Believe it or not. So they say. So yeah, um... This battle theme is awesome. <laughs> First time I heard it, I was like, yeah! Woo! Tetheala! Man. Um, so, yeah. Um, we're gonna be hearing it a lot. <laughs> if we can get to battle. This is gonna be a piece of cake! Jeez, how hard can a bat be? All right. Um, so the first time I heard that music, this the Tetayala battle theme, I thought to myself that it was maybe like a variation on sh the well, it's Sheena's world that we're in now, and uh, it, I thought it sounded kind of like a variation on the Sheena's original battle theme. Uh, I forget what it's called, her boss battle theme, but it's uh, maybe more or less. I I don't know. Maybe I was just making stuff up because I was so excited to be in Tethyala. Say, what's Tethyala's Chosen of Mana like? Hmm, well, to sum him up in one word... Uh-huh. He's an idiot. Huh? Well, you'll see for yourself. <laughs> I love that. Um, yes, you will see. We know that Tethyala... Oh, that was a good skit coming up, this too. Is gonna be a Don't piece worry. Of we'll still see it. Night Raid. It sounds like a superhero or super villain. But they're just wolves. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I was gonna say we know that Tethyala is chosen as a he, which is already different from Colette. So, um, yeah. Anyway, Kratos our enemy. Can't believe he was really our enemy. Kratos? Yes, I did think he seemed to know too much, but... As we blindly went ahead with the journey of regeneration, he was just laughing at us the whole time. I wonder, the things he said, especially... Lloyd? I felt a gentleness in the words he spoke to you. Kratos? Gentle? You've got to be kidding. Still, it's true. It's hard to believe that the things he said to us after we saw the x manufacturing at the Asgard Ranch were spoken by a cold-hearted angel of Crucius. Then why did he take Colette? I don't know. Right. All we know is that his goals and ours are not the same. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, people are complex. Kratos is complex. He, I think, you know, it's pretty obvious how complex Kratos is. If not only for Cam Clark's wonderfully nuanced performance. Um, Kratos is one of my favorite characters in this game. This is gonna be a piece of cake! And I do miss him. But, for the sake of the story, I think, you know... We're in a good spot, not having him around. And I do like the chemistry between the characters we have now. Poor Colette, though. Um, so anyway, we're just making our way down this hill, because we crashed on the top of a mountain. We're mountain climbing. We're doing the opposite of mountain climbing. We're mountain descending hair. I've never seen one of them. We've seen rabbits, but not the tortoise and the hare. Is there a tortoise? Is there anywhere in the game where this enemy appears alongside a tortoise? Because that would be kind of amazing. Okay, I'm sure Genus has mastered Risotto by now. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, we only have one more helping of that. Who didn't? Let's see if. Uh, oh wait. Let's see if Sheena can just make one more risotto and master it. I don't know if she can. I don't know if that's how far along she is. But um, I am trying to fight every enemy. Reinforcements, huh? I think we've seen all the enemies that we can see on this trip here. That's it? I was just getting started. They dropped pork. None of those enemies was a was a pig, though. Or was it? I don't, I don't remember seeing a pig. Okay. You're gonna regret this! <laughs> Okay, so we are nearing the bottom of the mountain. There are places where treasure chests are hidden behind rocks. We haven't seen a heck of a lot of treasure chests on the way down, but uh, here's one now. Cool orbit, I believe that's for Janus. Right, yes. Alright. I believe it's an ice themed weapon with that You're name. gonna regret this! <laughs> Ready? I kind of want to play. This is Sheena's world. I want to play as Sheena. Just to vary things up, you know. She's still using one card of hers. Well, she's really not good against uh, these bats. Sheena's not the best against flying enemies. She's not the worst, though. She's agile enough. She jumps high, as you can see. But, I think this is where- yes, see? Another hidden treasure chest. Gimme. Black Onyx. That's a really good thing, too. Because it increases your HP. We don't really need any major HP increases right now, but it increases your HP by... 30%. So, like... Lloyd goes from... 2,547 HP... That's that's with the black onyx. What did I have on before? Warrior symbol. Uh, so he gained like 500 and some change HP, which is very useful in certain situations where you need a cushion of for certain boss battles you need a cushion of HP. Um, but as I said, we're pretty over leveled. So yeah. Not much of a specimen. But black onyxes will come in very useful later in the game. Then we have to face some uh, super bosses. Because for some of those bosses, we will. I mean, you know, you can just naturally get to max HP, which is 9999 card of fire, yay. Um, but you can get to naturally get to maximum HP with levels. I don't know how long that takes, but I think it's like something like level 100. Maybe. Because spoilers, there are levels over a hundred in this in the Tail series. Um, but so the Black Onyxes do stay useful for a long time, but they become obsolete once obviously once your once your HP cannot increase anymore. So I, that's the exit. This is an offshoot path. Nice tree here. Uh, I believe there's just a tree not much chest. of a specimen. <laughs> I do want to show off more summons. I, I forget which summons we haven't seen yet. I think we've seen Sylph and Undini. I don't believe I've summoned Ifrit. Uh, is Ifrit the only one? Ifrit, Ifrit might actually be the only one that we haven't seen that we have so far. Yeah. So hopefully we can summon Ifrit, because he's epic. And what's here? Misty Robe. That makes the character turn into the gym leader of water. No, I'm just kidding. But it's for rain. Because rain is misty. When it rains, there's mist. I don't know. It's a dumb pun. So let's get out of here. 
are done with this place, which is called the Fuji Mountains, by the way, which is hilarious because Mount Fuji and Japanese. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know. That's not really that funny. But anyway, hey, by the way, where are we going? What the? You're the one that said let's go. I thought you knew where we, you were going. How would I know? I'm from Silveron. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I'm sorry. Mount Tokyo, the Imperial City, the center of Tetheala. So we've got Fuji Mountain. We've got Mount Fuji for all intents and purposes, and we've got Mel Tokyo. Are we sure Tetheala is not Japan, encapsulated in like one world? It's the city where the King of Tetheala resides. Is it far from here? It's not that far, just north of here. Mel Tokyo, huh? Okay, let's hurry up and go there. Ah, uh, right. Alright. So we're gonna go to Mel Tokyo. We're also about to go to the field map for the first time. And what do you think is gonna happen? What? Just take a wild guess what's gonna happen when we go to the field map. I'll just show you. New music, of course. New music everywhere. And it sounds very regal and sophisticated. Fit for a king, which there is here. Let's watch this skit. Grrr! How? Noise, what are you upset about? How? Just how? How? I ass would assume he's upset about the crash. Oh, I'm sorry, Noish. Grrr! Grrr! Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm trying to apologize. Grrr! Fine, whatever. No supper for you tonight. You hear me? That's mean. So, yeah, how how the heck is Noish here? I mean, I know why gameplay-wise... Oh, yeah, they, Fuji Mountains, like I told you, is spelled differently with two O's. But same same name, basically. Um. Anyway, um, so the first time on the Tetheala world map, there's a few more treasure chests. I was just going to look on my phone, look up the uh, the world map for Tetheala. Not much of a specimen. <laughs> Don't get in my way. Ready? I'm, I'm I'm using my phone. I'm on semi-auto and I'm over level. So what do you want from me? I was just warming up. Um. Hold on, let me pause. Tetheala map. I think there's only like two treasure chests around here. Like I know this game very well. I could probably look up. I could probably find all the treasure chests without looking up a map and cheating at it. But, I don't want to take forever, and I want to know exactly where I'm going, so that I don't waste even more time than I already do. <laughs> uh, alright. No, no. Okay, so we are here. You can't see, but I'm looking at a map of this world, and it is quite a world. We will be exploring it at length. At length. So there's actually... So the, so I was going to say, the reason why Noish is here is because we can, in fact, find guidepost monuments and um, and ride Noish around. So we wouldn't want to go without that. Yes, I admit that. But how the heck did Noish... He, did he have a riard of his own, or did he, like, fit on Lloyd's riard? We, we, he wasn't on screen, obviously. Did, did we just put Noish in our pocket or something? Like, it's kind of a plot hole. It's just something that game doesn't... It just neglects to explain how. It doesn't really care. It's kind of a minor point. But Noish is important enough that, you know, you might want to think that through. So, there's two treasure chests and a skit point and a guidepost monument. Okay. So the first treasure chest is like over here somewhere. In the tree. Maybe. No, it's not in the trees. Super pellets. We can't use those yet because we're not doing the... Whatchamacallit. The figurine book. We don't even have the figurine book yet because we couldn't get it. Remember? Reinforcements, huh? We have to wait till Colette... If Colette ever gets her voice back, we have to, we have to wait for that. Um, That's it? I was just getting started. So, yeah, the world map in Tetheala has all the same stuff as Silphiron. It's got all the same function, functionally the same. Treasure chests here and there. You can ride Noish, you can find skit points to increase your affection with the character in question. 
believe there's a skip point over here if I ever get there. This is gonna be a piece of cake! Uh, you know what? Let's select another recipe. Yoshina did master that. Good. Um, sandwich, cabbage roll, meat stew. Doesn't it? Wow. Oh, wow. Well, Colette could cook. I feel like it would be wrong to make Colette cook right now. She would just be like our cooking robot. We don't want to make Colette a cooking robot. Let's make cabbage roll with Sheena. Oh, can we do that for a while? Yeah. Okay, so, um, here's the skip point. It's for genus or rain, I can't tell. It's rain. What's wrong, Professor? Don't know, don't wanna know. Talk to the hand, Drake meme. No. Uh obviously this is the right choice. I don't understand. I'm cooking I'm cooking exactly according to the recipe the genus gave me, but it's not going well. Oh, it's your wacky cooking. What do you mean by wacky? Hehe. <laughs> But if you're following Genus' recipe, it should turn out a little better. Hmm, I guess I shouldn't have tried to put my own spin on it. Spin? Well, for instance, cakes. Cake is sweet no matter who bakes it, right? So wouldn't a spicy cake be a breakthrough? I think I know why your cooking is dangerous. I, you know, that idea isn't as insane as it, as it sounds, because, um... I mean, there's spicy chocolate. There's, like, that chili chocolate that this you can buy. This is gonna be a piece of cake! Uh, although that chocolate is the dark chocolate, it's like gourmet dark chocolate, and it's not really meant to be sweet. It's, it's the appeal is more in the bitterness. So I, I don't know. I've had spicy ice cream before, actually. Like like chili ice cream. It works. It it works. I, I bet you could make a good spicy cake, but you have to be a better cook than Rain to pull that off. Um, here we are. Alright. Long mode can use, be used now by Meltokyo, so circumference. Okay, so Tetheala has not changed the crazy English mistranslation. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nope. Nope. Sheena. Summon fire. Okay, so, yeah, it was cool. Did like a thousand damage to one hit and then knocked over the enemy. But... It would have been... Would have been more impressive if it was like a one... one OTK, one turn KO, you know. Um... Uh, we haven't... Here's the building we haven't been to, by the way. We haven't been to any buildings here because we're in Tateala. Um... I'm just looking at the map. Um, the other treasure chest is closer to Meltokyo, so we'll go here first. House of Guidance. So, as you can see, this is Tetheala's, and here, the music, this is Tetheala's version of um, House of Salvation. This is the bougie House of Salvation. Look at these sunflowers. Doesn't it sound just richer? Doesn't it sound more like... Doesn't it sound like a, a classical music station is funding this place? I don't know. Um, classical music stations don't fund places. Well, maybe they might, but play, people fund classical music stations and any music stations. Fundraisers. How do they work? I know it's a bit weird in a place like this, but would you like to trade? Okay, so this is convenient, you know. We've got... Uh, trade shop right here. I don't even know what we need, though. We're gonna need something. And I don't know what. But if if we find a trading shop, um, I, we can come back here and grab what we need, and it's a pretty convenient location. And it's just a guy who trades, you know? He's not even attached to a shop. He's just trading stuff. Um, hello, this is a house of guidance. So let's see what's on the inside. It's bigger on the inside. It's smaller on the inside. I don't know. Um, 
So this is, of course, run by the Church of Martel from Tethyala. And it looks the... Uh, this is pretty much the format of every t House of Guidance, just like the Houses of Salvation look the same on the inside. This is what every House of Guidance looks like. Um, a little more lodgy, churchy, I don't know. Uh, up northwest of here be the Imperial City... What, what accent is this? Up northwest of here be the Imperial City of Maltopio, but that place don't, just don't suit me none. He's like a country bumpkin. Okay. So, uh, I like these curtains. This is a chef. I'm a cook, not a chef. No, oh, I'm sorry. I offended you. I'm a cook. Take note of that. Well, you know what they say. We have too many cooks. We'll spoil the broth. So, we go upstairs. Uh, hmm, you're all wearing some interesting clothes. You know, we're anime characters. What do you want? What do you want, dude? And so far, the style... So, yeah, like, the style of clothing in Tethyala is supposed to be different from Silveron. It is noticeable, if you look hard at what people are wearing. The Silveron people are a little more dressed for, like... L dressed maybe more formally, or more, like, uh, like travelers. I don't know. It is 600 gold a night. Would you like a room? That's expensive. But we'll take it, because we need it. Sort of. I don't know. Um... The Houses of Guidance are way more expensive than the House of Salvation. Like, the Houses of Salvation were like 100 gold, I think, and these places are just like six times that. It's pretty crazy. Because Tethyala is a richer world. What do you want from them? So yeah, um, which, you know, I like this. I like that right off the bat we see that Tethyala is upper class compared to Silverunt. And speaking of classiness, Lloyd confesses his love? Colette, we're in Tethyala. Can you tell? It's no use. She just doesn't respond at all. Maybe you should try telling her you love her. What? Why? Oh, you're so dense. Just stop asking questions and just try it. Um, um... I love you! <laughs> oh well, I guess it was. if that was all it took to bring her back to normal, we wouldn't be coming all the way out here to Tethyala. Genus! Ow! <laughs> um, that's not how you tell so I mean, you know, she's not only is she unresponsive, but she, you didn't say her name. You should walk up to her, take her hands, and say, Colette, I love you. Look her in the vacant eyes and say that. You know? You didn't even say your name! You, I get you know. I get it. I don't think anybody really thought that was gonna work. You, you need to kiss her! True love's first kiss will break the curse. So anyway, here's Mel Tokyo. It is a city on a platform with walls and everything. We've never seen a city this big in Silveron. There is no city this big there. Also a bridge! It's a bridge! That's like a modern looking bridge too. And there's like a little dock next to it. What's that about? Look how big that bridge is. It's almost like there's going to be a battle on the big bridge. Maybe we'll run into Gilgamesh, I don't know. I hope everybody gets that reference. Anyway, uh, there's another treasure chest back here. I really don't feel like shuffling through the grass to find it, but I believe it's to the left of Mel Tokyo. Oh wait, actually, wait a minute. Are there two treasure chests here? I don't know. We'll see. There might be ch two chests it. that we can get. We already got the first one. That was just warming up. Okay, so, um... This little nook I, probably has a chest. I, I believe that's where the next chest is. Yeah, reverse doll. Okay, that is a pretty... Another tail staple. It is essentially an auto-revive. You equip that, it uses up... The, it uses up the, um... It, it's an accessory, but it, it's a consumable item that disappears. If it wasn't, you know, if it automatically revived you, and it just continually was equipped on you, that would be really broken. Even if it was once per battle, that would be like 
worth a lot. I mean, I don't know, I guess they could have gotten away with once per battle, you know, you revive from from KO. I think you I don't remember if it's with full health either. I think it is though. But it's a it's just once, so you have to strategically choose when to equip the reverse dolls. Um, and it's usually for the really hard battles, and they do come in useful. They do. Um, what was that? It was chests. I'm trying to see like where the. Apparently, there's another treasure chest just south of here. I think there's an even larger nook with another item. Yeah, in here. This is quite a st stretch, quite a valley, just for one item. But here it is. Anti-magic bottle. What do those do? I can't remember. I mean, I guess it kind of speaks for itself. It can counteracts magical ailments, so it doesn't, you know, you can't avoid magic attacks, but magical ailments, not physical ailments, but the, the other kind of status effects, like weak, or, I don't know, I forget what, the, the magical ailments are a little less prolific than the physical ailments. You're gonna regret this! <laughs> So we got everything on the world map, which is good. Well, for now, we got everything. That's it? This is getting started. Alright. Perfect. We're all in level 29 now, except for Colette. But that's okay. Um, let's go to Mel Tokyo, see what that's about. Sorry, but I'm going to part ways with you here. What? Why? Have you forgotten? I was trying to kill Colette. I have to report my failure to the chief. Is this chief person in this city? I'm from Mizuho. The people of Mizuho were chased from this land. We all live in hiding. If you're going if you go make that report, are you going to be alright? Don't worry about that. Anyway, I'd like you to deliver this letter for me. Please give it to the king in Castle Tefeala. Tell him it's from Sheena of Mizuho. I'll grant you an audience right away. The king wants to kill Colette, right? Are you sure this is going to be alright? In order to stop that, I've written the details of everything that's happened. And requested that they help heal Colette. I see. Thank you. Uh, no, you don't have to thank me. It's nothing. Don't mention it. The Imperial Research Academy is under the control of the royal family. There, there isn't any other way. That's all. Are you embarrassed? You're funny, Sheena. Sh shut up! I'm going now. We'll see you again, right? Hmm. We might meet again, and we might not. Then let's not say goodbyes yet. Yeah, see you again. Yeah, see you again someday. So, yeah. I guess, uh... Oh, you know, you never know. I guess that's the last time we're ever going to see Sheena. Because, you know, especially with that unvoiced scene and all. I guess that's it. That's it. Sheena's gone. We're done. We're done. Hold on. I'm just going to get dark in here. let that skit play without me voicing it, but that's not how I roll. Wait, what did I do? Oh, crap. What did I do? The skit disappeared. Arg! That's annoying. I think if I go over here, it'll respawn. There we go. Tethayal is so amazing! There's all sorts of things I've never seen in Silveron. I suppose it should be expected in the flourishing world. 
But as long as this world is flourishing, Silverout will be in decline. Oh yeah, you're right. But how in the world did things wind up like that? Yes, that's a fascinating decision. The question... Hmm. So, um... We don't need to be over here yet. We will, eventually, don't worry. But... Uh, let's go through the gates, the proper gates of the city. And here we are, Mel Tokyo. Whoa, there are dogs on this side, too. Colette? And she used to love dogs. Ah ha ha ha, that's a violent young lady there. That's marvelous. <laughs> world was that man? Oh, we've seen him before. Come on. Use your use your noodle. Use your memory. He showed on the, on the projector at the ranch, you know. I like how he calls a, she's a violent young lady, so it's marvelous. Well, only someone obviously evil would say that. It's like basically walking up to us and saying, by the way, I'm a bad guy. Ha ha ha. Okay, this is the Tetheala Imperial City of Maltokyo. Would you like me to explain different areas? Uh, I'm gonna skim through this, but sure. You climb these stairs and head straight, you'll find the royal castle in the upper class quarters. Area to the right of the slums, where those who have no money and no home live. That's depressing. And the area we are now is the city core. There are shops, the Coliseum, and the Inn for Travelers. Well, I think that about covers that, I think. Okay, oh, that wasn't too long. But this is the... Okay, so this is the first, like, floor, the first district of, uh, Mel Tokyo. And we are going to see how different people live in the different quarters. The, this imperial city of Maltokyo is completely surrounded by castle walls, so we can live our lives without worry. Welcome, travelers. So yeah, there's going to be some, uh, like, class criticism, or cla- or wait, like, uh, I believe the term is Marxism. <laughs> uh, you know, we're going to see the different social classes of Tethayala. Because in Silveron, everybody was kind of working class and poor. They were, mostly everyone was like either part of the church or like farmers or, you know, engineers or some, some people, you know, there were mayors and there were like the governor general and educators or people who were teachers. But even the teachers, you know, like Rain is a small town teacher. Here we've got a much broader um, discrepancy between them different ways by which people live. I'm sorry, I'm busy right now. What are, where are the syrup bottles? And the flare bottles? Well, the maple syrup is there. No. Um, by the way, the cats are here, too, if you haven't noticed. You can't do anything if it's you. you don't stay alive. It's a good idea to stock up on gels. Well, I hate gels. Don't worry, we'll get that title soon. Um, this is the item shop Belteon. So, um, yeah, we still haven't used any gels doesn't gel with me. We also <laughs> we also have the next level of gels available in the shops, which are lemon and pineapple, which are just like incre like the next tier of apple and lemon gel, or apple and orange gels specifically. We don't need them. They're expensive anyway. Uh, we don't need them right now anyway. We'll get them at some point. Flare bottle. I suppose I could pick one of those up. Well, actually, no. We have equipment to buy, so I'm not going to get a flare bottle just yet. Uh, acuity bottle. There's all Actually, there's all kinds of bottles, yeah. And they're pretty expensive, actually. So, yeah. I'm not going to buy... I, I could buy magic lenses, because they're cheap as dirt. Poison charm, we have one. We have all the... Okay. So I'm just going to max out my magic lenses and then uh, save my money for the... Ida, for the weapon shops, which there are... A few. So, I think that just says the name, yeah, the name of the shop. But, um, it's kind of a dead end here. It's quiet and comfortable here. There aren't many quiet places in this city. That's a manhole cover. The gate closes at night, so we can't play outside the city. So this is our playground. The Coliseum is above here. So, yes, there is a Coliseum, which is another Tales of Hall Hallmark. It's tradition to have a coliseum where you can fight in the arena for prizes, test your skills, etc. Um, this is an inn. 
I think it's cheaper than the House of Salvation, or the House of Guidance. I guess we'll rest here anyway. We don't, we don't really need that much for rest, but, um, it's only 300. They have a moose, a deer on the wall. I don't know. Welcome, you'll have your room. We'll have a room ready for you in just a minute. <coughs> the hustle and bustle of the city is tiring. I finally arrived in Meltokyo. Working from, walking from city to city isn't easy. So, you know, inns are inns. This is a pretty classy inn. Greetings, you are most welcome here. You can go in the bedrooms, just like always. And, you know. This is like a five-star hotel. This is even... Well, maybe, maybe more of a five-star hotel than the one in Asgard was. Mom and Dad have been a fight. It's been a lot of trouble. Okay. Look at that updo. Oh my goodness. I had a fight with my husband and ran away from my house. Okay. <laughs> she just sounds like she would talk like that. Or she looks like she would talk like that. Alright. So, yeah. The inn, if we need it. That is the elemental research... Uh facility, laboratory, whatever they call it. It's hidden in this little nook here. I don't think we can do anything here. She's an elf, or a half-elf. And they're doing all kinds of experiments down here. I don't. Th I really don't think we can do anything here yet. But it will come up later. The s magic technology side of things. The magic and science system of this world. If you, you know, Elementary Research Academy, they study summon spirits and things related to them. So Sheena is quite at home there. Why are you looking around and everything like you've never been to the city before? Oh, I'm sorry, is this really your first time here? So, um, right here is where the, you know, the, the cobblestones give way to just a dirt path, which means we are now in the slums. And they even have different music, like a different variation on the Mel Tokyo music. This area is called the slums see that. So this is a really depressing place. They say you should not fear trouble and work hard when you're young, but it's best to avoid it once you got older. You never know what fortune will bring. So everyone here is like down on their luck. But if you talk to this guy, guess what he says? I've heard there was a cute flower seller in here. But I guess it was just a false rumor. And he's a swordsman, and he's looking for a flower seller in the slums. I wonder what that's a reference to, guys. Hmm. Hmm. Probably a very niche, unheard of game. Wow, look at those bottles, dude. What have you been doing? I shouldn't have gone gambling. Where is there a casino in this town? I don't think there is one. The casino's in a different town. but there And there is a casino. We will see that in a bit. So we can't name the dogs, because Colette can't talk. I'm a traveler with no sense of direction. I got lost and wound, somehow wound up in here. Oh, this is probably not the best place you want to be. I don't know if there's, like, crime here. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my, we don't usually get visitors around here. This might, I mean, I don't know, I don't see much... There, everybody's, like, poor and unhappy, but there doesn't seem, like, that bad. There's not really any crime going on that I can aware of. This area is off limits. It's my secret base. Okay. So. Whoops, whoops. There we go. There's like no point to coming back here. I don't know why I did. Um, so yeah, this is the slums. There's really not that much to do in here for most of the game. There are a few side quests that involve coming here, though. But I, th I don't think... To to finish the actual game, like the plot of the game, you ever have to go there. I bet you could do a whole playthrough ever without ever seeing the slums once. I might be wrong about that, but, um, yeah. Anyway, let's go up here. Now, now, settle down, my darling honey. 
Hi there, my little cool beauty. Are you hurt? Well, Master Zelos himself has deigned to speak to this girl, and yet look how she acts! Just look at her. It's not even festival time, and yet she's dressed up in an angel costume. How stupid are you? Can you believe the nerve of this hag? What did you say? Genus, let it go. She's obviously never looked in a mirror. What did you say? You're all behaving like children. Now, now, settle down. Are you upset, my little angel? You know, I bet you're as cute as a button when you smile. Whoa! Wow, that was a surprise. You sure are strong, my little angel. You certainly startled me. Well, who are you? No offense, but I'm not interested in talking to guys. I hate this guy already. Ooh, what's your name, beautiful? Give me your name and I'll give you mine. You copied Lloyd! Uh, now that I've heard someone else say it, it sounds kind of arrogant. Oh, my, you don't know me? Well, well, I guess I still have a ways to go. <laughs> Master Zelos, let's go! Oh, yes, yes, of course. Well then, I'll see you again. My lovely lady, my cute little angel, and, uh, you other people. What was that all about? What an ass. He was grinning like an idiot the entire time. What's wrong with that guy? He had an X-sphere on him. What? No way! So that's how he reacted so fast. Just who is that guy? So, um, yeah, the first time I ever saw that scene that introduces that character, I... I thought he was the most outrageous thing I'd ever seen. Like, I don't know. I knew it was coming. I knew there was, like, I'd heard about the character. Master, his name is Zelos, obviously. But, um, I hadn't experienced Zelos truly until I saw that scene. And I was like, wow, he, he, <laughs> look at how much of a, like, caricature he is. <laughs> He's like, I'm not interested in talking to guys. Oh, my lovely lady and you other people. Like, you know. They're just so, like, cartoonishly shallow, <laughs> him and his groupies there. Um, anyway, I came with Grandma. Is this Grandma? Hi, Grandma. I, I brought my grandson on a walk with me. Oh, it's an angel. No, uh, that would be Colette. No, no. Uh, oh my, you're already dressed as an angel. Getting a little ahead of ourselves, are we? So there's apparently an angel festival in these parts. But anyway, yeah, um, so Zelos is quite a character. He's he's hilarious, but he's also kind of like, you can't look away from how cringeworthy he is. Look at that fancy sign, Trupa, Trupelos. Um, we'll probably see Zelos again. Also, best line from Genus in the game. What an ass! Like, that, that line? Hilarious. Wonderfully scripted, that scene. Anyway. Armor made from Maltokyo steel is exceptional in quality. Don't you think you should be getting some new armor, too? So, um, what's in the case? Can't look at it. This is the armor shop. I like to buy armor when I can so that I don't waste my... Well, I don't want to waste gold, either. Look how expensive this stuff is! Oh my gosh! I'm not going to be able to get all this stuff in one, uh, trip. Anyway, Elven Protector, Splint Mail, uh, Druid Cloak, Misty Robe, we have that. I think we have everything from Misty Robe down. We don't have Striped Ribbon, Gold Circlet, Omega Shield, no one can equip that. I think that, but we have one, because it was on Kratos, I believe. Uh, so there's all kinds of stuff. I'm going to start out with one Lapis Bracelet. Actually, wait, Lloyd can't equip bracelets. Uh, he can equip the Claw Gauntlet. Alright, I'll do two of these, one of these. Um, gold 
circlet striped ribbon. Oh man, we're already like low on stuff. You know what? Yeah. Okay. I'll just do those for now. One claw gauntlet, two lapis bracelet. Okay, we're gonna have to grind for items or sell. Actually, we could sell stuff. Let's sell some stuff. Um, let's sell all of our apple gels, all of our melange gels, and all of our orange gels for starters. Because we're not quite there yet with the uh, gels hating title. Oh, we have a lot of life bottles too. Let's sell some of those panacea bottles. Um, sure, why not? Uh, rune bottle. We are gonna need that. I don't want to get rid of that. I don't want to get rid. Definitely these herbs. I don't want to get rid of. Or the X gems. Anti magic bottle. Um, maybe I can sell two of these shell bottles. Pellets. We're gonna need later. Uh, and like I said, I'm not exactly sure which of these. Uh, materials we're gonna need, but we can buy splint mail from Lloyd, and a striped ribbon, I guess? So we still need Elven Protector, Druid Cloak, so that's for, well, Elven Protector's for Colette, Druid Cloak, Cloak is for Genus, and one more Lapis Bracelet, and we need the Heavy Boots, too. Okay. Man, this town is... I forgot how expensive this town is. Or how much stuff. There's a... You know, we get a major equipment upgrade here. Which makes sense, because this is our first Tethiala town. We're, we're up in the game here. So this is the Colosseum, by the way. Uh, this is the item shop. Or the weapon shop, I should say. And of course, it's right next to the Colosseum. Let's see what they have in here. What, we, what can we customize? Look at that burly dude. I wonder how they can stay in business when not all that many people need weapons. Well, here they're going to need more weapons than usual, because it's Coliseum. I'm, not, I'm just not satisfied with the weapons they issue us. Alright, which one of these? This is the customization shop. So the Ogre Sword, there's two different ways you can make the Ogre Sword. I need brass, <laughs> which I could have gotten at, um, you know, the, the House of Guidance. There's also a weapon called Ray Thrust, which is one of Colette's moves. I need a Metal Sphere, so I need a Metal Sphere and Brass. I'll have to remember to go back and get those. I also need a Ruby Wand. Do I have a Ruby Wand? Is that what Rain has equipped? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Uh, but, in order to make the Gale Staff, I need another Metal Sphere. Red Shield, I need an Omega Shield. I don't have an Omega Shield. Did Kratzo steal my Omega Shield? Oh wait, I have a red shield. I already did this. What am I saying? Uh, <laughs> um, Armit Helm. I have one of those. Druid Cloak. Okay, I can make a Druid Cloak. So that's one thing out of the way. I could also make a Lapis Bracelet. Does anybody have an Iron Bracelet equipped? Yes. Okay. So I can get my third Lapis Bracelet with the Black Silver. I believe I can get a black silver if I need one at the House of Guidance. So we've got that, we've got that, we've got that, we got that. Uh, Gale Stiff, so we need we still need a few of these things. Let's see what we can get at the weapon shop. We can buy the ogre sword. And we have a nimble rape here. Uh, we could buy the ray thrust, we can but we could buy pretty much everything that we could have customized weapon-wise. Silver sword, we have one. Card of fire, Sheena's got that. Francesca, who uses axes? We don't have any axe wielders. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder if that's a clue. Alright, we'll come back here once we can get everything. Those who possess fighting skills feel the urge to test them. I feel the urge to test my fighting skills. I'm over leveled, I'll probably do great. I've never lost the first match in the Coliseum. This is the Mel Tokyo Coliseum. Warriors enter this stage for fame to test their skills and re various other reasons. Um, yeah. I'm in charge of first aid. I can even revive the dead with my bandages. So, alright, let's test our skills at the Coliseum, right? If we just walk up to you, I'm sure we can do that, right? 
I'm sorry, entrance registration for this round is already over. Yeah, no. Uh, so yeah, the Coliseum is not open yet to play quite yet. We have, you know, we gotta wait a, way, wait a while before we can do the Coliseum. But it is a lengthy side quest. Magicians have a hard time with single matches. Your spells keep getting interrupted. I wonder if there's any way to solve that. Hint, hint. Genus and Rain can still do the Coliseum, even though Lloyd is like the optimum uh, choice. Intensive training will build a heart that does not falter before the terror of real combat. And I believe, if we read this board, the path of battle is not learned in a day. A wide variety of miscellaneous knowledge is important too. Hmm, let's see. So other tips was added to the training manual. Wonderful. Mysterious suntan girl appears. What is this terrifying incantation? Wheel. Okay, so we'll find out what that's about when we finally get to do the Coliseum later. But, if you strike quickly and frequently enough, you'll break your opponent's guard. I know that already. So yeah, we can't do the Coliseum now. Bummer. We'll get to it, don't worry. I don't want to go t you know, we don't want to digress too much from the main story. So yeah, we'll go back and get all the equipment we couldn't get. Maybe off screen I'll do that because <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do some grinding. This area is called the upper class quarter. It's a place where the rich live. Um, sh and are you sure you're in the right place? Are you telling us we look poor? This outfit Lloyd's wearing does not look too cheap. I'm just saying. I have to tend the garden. If you don't take care of flowers, they won't bloom nicely. That's quite an impressive garden, even though it's like low res. But so this is the Church of Martel here. Cathedral. It's not just a church, it's a cathedral. Bigger than any church that we've seen in Silverun. So over here is the nobles' quarters. This is where all the rich people live in their mansions. You're travelers, I presume. This isn't a place for commoners. If you came here by accident, then leave now. Scoff, scoff. <laughs> I am a knight. Maintaining order in the city is one of our duties. Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Apparently Shakespeare exists in Tales of Symphonia. Or at least in Tethyala. I'm tired of this game too. To be or not to be, that is the question. Hmm, that's kind of an overused line. Really, no. You don't say. Even in video games. Okay. Since the king fell ill, they have stopped holding dinner parties. Every day is dreadfully boring and I don't know what to do. You know, go for a walk in the park. You don't have to just go to dinner parties. Here's another dog that we can't name right now. My kitten is missing. What about your dog? Is that your dog? I'm having a terrible problem. I have too much money. I just don't know what to do. Humph. Harumph. Harumph. Uh, yeah. These people. Look at his long nose, too. These people. Look at that grand piano. My father is a famous musician. Hello. Oh, are you a guest? Look at that harp. I'm still constantly scolded by my teacher, but I won't give up. I like this room, because this is like a room where like Mozart would be or someone like that, you know? It's like a recital hall, or it's, I mean, it's just, you know, some musician's house, but you could have a recital here. Pretty, pretty nice recital, too. Um, chamber music, you know? So, look at these street lamps. Oh, that statue. Who's that supposed to be? Whose house is this? I bet whoever lives here is an idiot. Right? This guy's name is Sebastian. May I help you? He doesn't look like he lives here, though. He's the butler. Look at this house. I bet somebody was playing chess here. I bet whoever lives here is, like, a loser. Look at, whoa, what's this? Oh, I think I know what this is. I am the mysterious gourmet, the wonder chef. I shall teach you the recipe for that essential party food, the fruit cocktail. All right, fruit cocktail. Fruit cocktail requires any two fruits you like. So that's a pretty diverse recipe. Farewell. And it's also a pretty good recipe because it, it uh, heals. Well, okay, it's not, it's, it's, 
basically the same thing as Cabbage Roll. It restores the TP. I thought it would be a higher amount of TP, but I guess not. So I don't think anything's going on in these bedrooms, but look how nice they are. Look at all those present boxes. Wow, whoever lives here is like... Was it his birthday or something? His or her birthday? I wonder who lives here. Look at that ink and ink quill. Ink and quill. Ink quill and feather. <laughs> what am I saying? That feather quill and ink well is what I meant to say. And somebody was drinking a glass of the finest aged wine overlooking the sea or whatever that's overlooking. I wouldn't mind living here myself. Not gonna lie. And there's a picture, a portrait of some lady on the wall, too. Wonder who that was. Okay, so, um... You know, I'm pretty sure there's another... recipe in this town. Is there another recipe in this town? I don't want to go, like, searching for it too hard right now, but... I'm pretty sure fruit cocktail is just... This is a big town. So, um... You know. Recipe locations... I should know this, you know? I know this game. I'm just being lazy when I look stuff up, because I don't feel like racking my memory for things that I haven't done for a while. Um... Oh, no. Uh... Well, actually, wait. No. Mel Tokyo. Okay, I can get. What's the good luck cat? Good luck cat. Steak recipe. Hold on. I don't know what the good luck cat is. Okay, it was in the weapon shop. <laughs> Apparently, I thought it would be in a location like an item shop called the Good Luck Cat, or maybe the room with the cats. But apparently, there's a recipe in here. How did I miss that? Usually, those things stick out like sore thumbs. I kind of oh, there we go. That's a Good Luck Cat. It's a Neko Cat, Neko statue, or something like that. I am the mysterious gourmet, the Wonder Chef, again! I shall teach you the recipe for steak. Tenderizing, tenderizing it by hand brings out the taste. I'm gonna make steak! Which is good, because you, manly men like that guy on the right need meat. Need manly meat, like steak. Steak requires two ingredients, some type of meat and onion. Oh, you're making me hungry for some steak now. I haven't eaten all day. I really need to change that. Okay. So, I'm unfortunately not going to eat steak. Steak, I believe, cures some kind of status ailment. Paralysis, yes. I remember that, at least. Okay. So, um... Let's get back to what we were doing. We got both Wonder Chefs. It's the same Wonder Chef, just twice. But let's try to give the king Sheena's letter. Who are you people? We want to meet the king. His majesty is ill and is not granting audiences. Now that you know, please leave. No, we have to see him. We'll, we'll wear masks in front of the king if he's ill, you know? I don't know. Relevant. I'm sure you do, but until his majesty is well, there's nothing that can be done. The Church of Martell is preparing a prayer ritual to pray for his majesty's recovery. So try asking the priests in the church to ensure that he gets well as soon as possible. Your shift's up. Alright. I guess we'll have to go to the church. Well, it is Sunday. It, today's Sunday. I'm recording this on a Sunday. I hope it goes up on the same day. Uh, let's go... If not, it'll be Monday. But... Let's... Go in the church. It's a pretty fancy church. So the Church of Martell is still the Church of Martell. In Tethyala. Our mother who art in heaven. That sounds like a prayer that I know in IRL. Except mother instead of father. Because, you know, Martell. Um, let's go over here. But, you know. Unfortunately, the Church of Martell needs Jesus. Uh, <laughs> due to who they actually are. Uh, 
Due to who we all actually are. But welcome to the Church of Martell. Oh, Prisea, the prayers are to take place in the royal chambers. Please carry the sacred wood to the castle. Yes. So... She's cute. <laughs> oh, genus. That girl he called Prisea has an X-Fear, too. Is that a standard custom over here? Yeah, she's really cute. You're not listening at all, are you? You mentioned prayers. Are you praying for the recovery of the king? Yes, the Chosen and the Pope will pray before his majesty and receive the assistance of Martel. You said that the prayers will take place in the royal chambers, right? Yes, that's correct, but... Okay, thanks. <laughs> and he just walks away. Okay, guys, I figured out how we're going to see the king. What? How are we going what are, what are we? What are we going to do? We'll pretend to carry the sacred wood and sneak in. I thought you'd say that, but how are we going to get the sacred wood? Let's have that Persea help us. What? What? Really? I agree. That's a good plan. Let's do that. <laughs> well, all right. Let's try talking to her at least. Suddenly, Genus is all about this. Then let's catch up to her. Okay. So now we're gonna go talk to Persea. First time I read her name, I thought it was Prisea, but it's Prisea. Well then, now let you get to work. The sacred wood goes to Altamira. You can do it after your current job is done. Understood. The plan is right on schedule. I must report to Lord Rodile. Hey! Hang on a sec! Um, Prisea! Could we have a moment of your time? I'm Lloyd. This is Colette and Rain and... I I'm Genus! Hey, Genus, why are you all flushed? Would you let us help you carry the sacred wood? W wait I'm sorry, I know this is a bit strange, but please hear us out. The truth is, we have a letter we wish to give to the king. Our friend's life depends on it, but we have a problem because the king is sick and refuses to see anyone. It would really help us out if we could carry it for you. Uh, are you listening? Understood. Um, Prisea? Please carry that. Oh, okay. Leave it to us. Oh my... Wait... Wait a minute. Yeah, This thing is heavy. I've lost all confidence as a man. Me too. That me too always cracks me up because of Genus' voice. Because he's voiced by a woman. Plus, he's a little kid. And he's not a man yet. But yeah, neither of them are manly enough. Ma as manly as Persea apparently is. Anyway, let's follow her. So yeah, she's got an X-Sphere. Which, her X-Sphere is apparently better at lifting wood than ours. Which is interesting. So, also, you didn't think anybody could have a blanker stare on her face than Colette, but... Meet Persea, <laughs> you know? Sorry to keep you waiting. Wait, is it not just Persea today? Who are you people? We are helping her to deliver the sacred wood to use in the prayer ceremony. Today is special. Alright, you may pass. So yeah, something's up with her. Excuse us, coming through. Something's up with Persea. She's acting like a robot. She can at least talk. Unlike Colette. Are lumberjacks all women and children these days? <laughs> hmm. But that Persea, who hardly ever talks, said so. It must be fine. It'd be funny if they were all wearing, like, flannel. Anyway, well, we managed to make it inside. What do we do with the sacred wood? Leave it to here. Okay, now, let's go look for the royal chambers. What will you do, Persea? Yes, yeah, sending her back alone would be suspicious. Let's have her come with us. Would you do that for us? 
dot dot dot. Persega joined the party. Yay! So she is our resident stoic character. She is, in fact, in the party. There's not really much battling to be done right now. But, in case you were wondering about the axe-wielding thing, she is, in fact, our axe-wielder. She can equip a lot of the same stuff as Lloyd, like the claw gauntlet. Which, by the way, I want to give Lloyd. Let's, uh, equip everybody with the new stuff we got. And, yeah, so Perse is gonna chill with us for a little bit. Give her some accessories. I don't know why. It's not like there's any battles happening right now, right? Um, I feel like Persea... Persea's wearing boots. I feel like she should be wearing boots. In, also in the equipment. Also, get a load of this... Uh, well, let's, 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 you know... Let's be Persea while we're here. Because this is her errands, not ours, really. So this is the castle. It has its own music. It's some very grandiose music. This is a whole, like, sub-area that we can explore. I don't think there's any reason to really explore in here too much. There's no shops inside the castle. There's no more wonder chefs. But we can look around. There's some interesting rooms. <laughs> Excuse me. There's some interesting rooms. A lot of them are guarded. But this is a pretty... This music is also, like, really, like... I don't know. Dire somber. It's not somber, it's like austere is more of the word that I would use. What room is this? Crimson Chamber. That sounds like an important room. But yeah, you know. Somebody, somebody's playing an organ somewhere. Somebody's just sitting in a room. Like, if there's a chapel in this castle, then I bet somebody's sitting in there playing this. Um, on like a you know, majestic pipe organ. Uh, I don't think there's any, like, items. We can, you know, say hi to the guards or whatever. Well, okay, we, we will have reason to explore the castle in a bit. But let's, uh, visit the king first. This is the king's chamber, obviously. Hey, you. Who gave you permission to come here? We brought the sacred wood, but then were asked to aid with preparations for the prayers. It was an order from the Pope. The Pope? Just a minute, I'll ask. Sorry about this. You knocked a guy out with armor with your bare fists. What's going on? Huh? It's you people. Ah, you're the one we met in Chosen. Do you know them? A what? <laughs> Plot twist. Maybe a little obvious if you saw it coming. I don't know. <sighs> Chosen? Well, I don't know if I'd say I know them. Just what are you people doing here? So your Tetheal is Chosen of Mana. What? This guy's the Chosen? What do you mean Tetheal is? Are you from Silverant? Everybody here knows about this the existence of Silverant. Unlike in Silverant with Tetheal. Yes, we are. These are people from the declining world? Princess, have no fear. Um, what's your name? Lloyd. Lloyd, for what purpose have you come here? Good grammar, Zealous. Good grammar. We've come here to deliver this letter. It's from Sheena of Mizuho to the king. Sheena? What's your relationship with Sheena? Do I detect jealousy in your voice, Zealous? Sheena! Your Majesty, please forgive us for causing a disturbance in your presence. Lloyd, give me the letter. Here it is. You don't look too sick. You're, like, walking around, dude. Okay. People from Silveron, wait in the other room for a while. Pastor, show them to the Crimson Chamber. Yes, Your Eminence. So there's a Pope here. Not Catholic, but a Pope nonetheless. They're making us wait a long time. And look, the Crimson Chamber is indeed very crimson. And Lloyd fits in just right. <laughs> they may be preparing to kill us. To them, Colette is an obstacle. If, turn, if, things turns like, if, if things turn out like that, what will become of Versailles, who we just met? We'll have to find some other ways. To, we'll, we'll have to find some way to let her escape. I'm sorry for dragging you into this, Versailles. Look at Colette and Persea. They're like 
doing the same thing. Sorry to keep from sorry to keep you waiting, travelers from Silverant. So you read the letter. You want to use Tethyalin technology to save the chosen the chosen from your side, right? Colette has lost her soul. She'll lose her life as a human if she stays this way. But as long as the Chosen lives, our world teeters on the brink of destruction. Oh no. It's just like Rain said. Wait, please, listen to what we... I don't want to hear it. Get them! But no, nobody can defeat an angel. In protection, self-protection mode. They can't even... Damn, they can't even scratch her! See, I told you. They have X-Fears. Of course they're powerful. Hmm, you're not as dumb as you look. Impudent little brat. <laughs> and here begins the rivalry between Genus and Zelos. What would, what would you say to making a deal? A deal? Colette lost her soul because she was being reborn as an angel in order to save Silverant. But as long as she does not become an angel, Silverant will not be saved. I see, so if we save the Chosen, Tethyala will be saved as well. That means you'll be abandoning Silverant. I don't care. <laughs> what? Professor, what are you saying? Our priority right now is to save Colette, is it not? But abandoning Silverant? Alright, that's fine. No, we can't do that. Okay, so I forget, um... If we say alright, that's fine, I forget who gets... Affection. No, we can't do that. I forget which these which these. <laughs> I can't talk today. I forget which what each of these choices does in terms of like increasing or decreasing affection. I believe all right, that's fine. Like obviously, that rain is all for that, and I think Genus will be offended by that. Uh, no, we can't do that. Would be siding with Genus. I think this is mainly just between Genus and Rain. I don't really think per se it cares right now. And Colette, how could I don't know? <sighs> I'm just gonna go along with Rain's plan. All right, that's fine. I think that increases Colette's affection too because we're doing it for her. Is it okay to decide something like that so easily? Right now, the most important thing is to save Colette. That's why we came all the way to Tethyala, right? Is there internal discord? No. We'll do as the professor suggested and make a deal. Please tell us how to save Colette. Say Pope. If these guys... Does he have a name? Is he just Pope? If these guys don't go back to Silveron, then it doesn't matter if they're alive or dead. Then they can't complete the regeneration ritual. So I'll go along and keep tabs on them. That should be fine. If you insist, Chosen One. Then you'll save Colette, right? Well, we'll do what we can. Anyway, I swear on my name is Zealous the Chosen. I'll give you permission to travel, Tethayala, but only under the Chosen's observation. I guess we don't have much of a choice. Okay, that's fine. Then it's settled. I'm going to get ready, so can we meet up later? Where do you want to meet? Hmm, how about the Martel Cathedral? Alright. Then Chosen One, please report this to His Majesty. You got it. See you later, my gorgeous lady, cute chosen, and tiny rosebud. I guess tiny rosebud is Persea. Oh, and you servant boys. <laughs> so yeah. So we're kind of going to be stuck with Zelos. He's going to chaperone us on our journey to make sure we don't do anything to double-cross Tethyala. Makes sense, you know, Tethyala needs to defend itself to some extent. They have a lot more of an organized government than Silverant did, so they are capable of doing that. Alright, let's go to the cathedral and meet up with Zelos. Alright, there he is. And I'll admit, Zelos is actually pretty fun to have along, just due to comic value and he adds some much-needed lightheartedness at times. So, here we go. Yo, Lloyd! You're finally here! Uh, Zelos, right? Yep, yep. I'm the great Zelos Wilder. But you can just call me Zelos. We're gonna be traveling together for a while, so, uh, let's be friends, okay? 
He sounds like he doesn't take anything seriously. Let's see, putting aside the two guys, this gorgeous beauty is Rain, right? And then this cool cutie here would be Colette. And then who's this little one? Persea. She helped us sneak into the castle. The little one isn't from Silveront? Ozette. Ozette? That village out in the boonda? I mean, out in the forest? Ah, oh, that's so sad. You're being used by these uncivilized barbarians. Who are you calling uncivilized barbarians? Hey, 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 don't get mad. Especially after all the trouble I went through to contact the Imperial Research Academy for you. Not bad, Zelos. I know. Using the Research Academy requires permission from the King. But when the great Zelos speaks, His Majesty listens. Since you're going to be keeping tabs on us, I'd certainly expect that much. You're an obnoxious brat, you know that? Going to the Imperial Research Academy is fine. But can we have you free Prisea? Surely you don't need to keep tabs on her as well. No. The Imperial Research Academy and Ozette are both on the continent across the sea, so we can just drop her off when we go. I, I agree! That's a great idea! Is that okay with you, Persea? Yes. Okay then, where should we go? To Cybac. It's on the other side of the Grand Teteala Bridge. It's northeast of here. The Imperial Research Academy. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Let's go, everybody! All right, so Zelos. Where to begin with Zelos? Well, first of all, put him on screen because you know he likes looking at himself. Zelos is, you know, a bit of a narcissist. He's uh, the pretty boy. That's self-proclaimed pretty boy. Um, and his attacks are actually all of the same ones that Kratos had, which is kind of weird. He's the exact same like class as Kratos. He's got spells, he's got sword techniques, um, he's basically our replacement Kratos, even though he acts nothing like Kratos personality-wise. So yeah, um, so he comes with a decent set setup of techs, um, he needs to learn his next level techs, and, which he will, since he's on the right level, he'll, he'll, uh, you know, he, he levels, he, he comes in at a level, like our party average level, so that's good. So as soon as we get these usages up, he'll learn all these. Um, we do want to put him in the party, because he is useful. He has first aid, he can heal us and all that. Meanwhile, you know, Perse and Colette are going to chill on the sidelines. Perse is a good party member too, but... Um, well, well, you know, we'll see what she's all about later. Let's give Zealous some accessories. Um... I'll give him the protect ring, and I'll give him Yadamir. No, I'm not gonna give. I still don't know what the Yadamir does. We got it from the Sword Dancer, the Yadagarasu mirror from Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. Maybe it's a trading card. I don't know if it stops your opponent from drawing a card. That would make no sense because that's not this kind of game. I'll give him leather cape. Okay. So, um. Strategies for Zelos and Persea. Zelos, we want to put to heal because he is needed in that regard. Front lines too, though, because he um, is a, he's mostly a physical attacker. In melee, you know, he's a sword wielder. He's the same same exact thing as Kratos. What did we have Kratos on in terms of attacks? I think I'm going to leave him with attack freely. Uh, Persea is... She's also a frontline character. She's a melee. She's a, she's like a heavy-hitting melee character with her axe. Um... I'm gonna give her a reduce. She's good when she teams up with other party members and takes down heavy-hitting enemies. She's not exactly the swiftest character. But... She does have her uses. So anyway, um... Zealous can also cook have him cook fruit cocktail, because he looks like he would be a fan of fruit cocktails. His title is Magic Swordsman, he doesn't have any other titles yet. Persea's title is Taciturn Girl, she doesn't have any other titles yet. We will have to fix that in due time. Um, 
unison attack, we can do cross thrust again now that Zelos is here. So we'll give him sonic thrust, and he will be able to do cross thrust with Lloyd. Pretty sweet. I'm um, just setting up, setting up his uh, attacks here. Give him lightning. Okay. So we're all set. Well, actually, well, no, we'll give him first aid. I forgot about first aid. How could I forget about first aid? It's the most important spell. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. So yeah. So the thing about Zelos, oh, his X skills. Yeah. So let's talk about Zelos' X skills. His personal X skill is that when he speaks to a female NPC, she will give, she will flirt with him. He will flirt with her. She will f flirt back or react somehow and give him an item or gold. It is one of the most ludicrous X skills in the game. It is one of the most ludicrous things in video games that I... I, I think it's funny. It, it goes along with his character and it is very useful, actually. There's also a title for flirting with every female NPC in the world with Zelos. Not just Tethyala, but Silveron. Because, you know, well, okay. I... I have just given away that we go back to Silveron with Zelos at some point. Big shocker. <sighs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Perse has just got some pretty, you know, solid skills here. I'm gonna give her strong. Uh, I want Perse to be T-type. So, oh, wait a minute. Vitality. Per her personal uh, ability is you can just find food items in dungeons. I believe as you walk around dungeons, food items will just show up in your inventory. I think that is the... It's interesting. It's, you know, it's kind of random. Uh, I'm gonna give... Well, Persei's not gonna be in a battle for a while. But when she will be, she will be T-type. Zealous, I want to make T-type too. So let's give him magical, and we need personal. Um, I'll give him another second level X gem for now to get him moving. I'll give him maximum TP, or more increased max TP. All right, we do have level twos to spare. Don't worry. All right, I think that's all for now in terms of setting up our characters. So let's start flirting, shall we? We're, now we're going to go through the whole town of Mel Tokyo and flirt with everyone here. I've missed you, honey. No, we mustn't. It's wrong. I am a servant of the goddess. I can't. And we're in a church, and you gave me a cucumber. That's a little awkward. Okay. So, sometimes you can't really tell if somebody's a guy or a girl. It's usually pretty obvious, though. I've missed you, honey. Hello, chosen one. Let us pray together. That's a wholesome thing to do. And you give me an octopus. That's a weird thing to give. So, yeah. This is kind of like Colette's dog naming side quest, except there's a lot more women in the world than there are dogs. So, yeah. Honey, how are you? No, no, Zelos. Heart emoticon. Lemon. Everybody's giving us food items. Um, And ironically, not ironically, but conveniently or unconveniently enough, we're in like the biggest town in the game. <laughs> You're an interesting man. Orange gel. We, they're also going to give us stuff that we could sell, so this is actually a good way to get money for buying the rest of the weapons we need. Chosen one. You're the same as always, I see. Miracle gel. That's pretty nice, actually. And by nice, I mean that's going to sell for a lot. Alright. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through all these districts. That's a dude. I'm, I'm going to go through all all, like, five of the districts of Mel Tokyo and flirt with everybody in all these districts. I don't think I can go in here yet, though. It's not time for the dinner party yet. What dinner party? Why wasn't I invited? Okay. Look at these columns. How fancy. I'm flirting with this guy's girlfriend here. Honey, how are you? Zelos, hello. Dark Bottle. I'm sure he appreciates that so much. Hi, beautiful. Oh, my chosen one is something wrong. Melange gel. So, you know. Weird game mechanic. This is all we're going to do for the rest of the episode, is this. Oh, hello, chosen. Would you become my pet in place of my kitten? 
Heh. Ha ha ha. Holy bottle. That- some of these reactions are quite amusing. Some of the dialogue, the banter here. Oh, she- okay, so you can't flirt with her because she is more than an NPC. She is actually, like, later on is an actual character who does things relevant to the plot. So that's why you can't flirt with her. We don't know that yet, though, so it's kind of a weird thing. Uh, this is actually Zelos' house, by the way. So if you caught that, I was making fun of Zelos. Sebastian. Okay, we don't know that yet. That's Zelos' butler, Sebastian. <sighs> That'll come into play later. So I think that's all for this district, actually. And now we have to go back to the castle. I don't know how many people we can flirt with in the castle. Imagine if Zelos could flirt with the guys, too. I mean, you know, I would say gender equality and all that, but that would make this side quest a lot more tedious. This is the dungeon. I don't think there are any women in the dungeon. I don't think there's anybody in, at all in the dungeon for now. How about in the armory? There's no female soldiers, I don't think. Um, this game was not ahead of its time in 2004, what can I say? Bell Pepper, okay. So, a lot of these NPCs are just like, carrying around food. I guess. Hello, hi, you're charming. Chosen hello. Yeah, most of what we get is, like, food. It's really strange. I don't think I ever realized that, unless I'm just getting lucky or unlucky. I'm glad to be getting food. Oh, that's the king's chamber. We can't go flirt with the princess just yet. Squid? Yeah, like, and some of these are the weirdest food items. It's the castle archive. Okay, we can't go in the castle archive yet. Um... That just leads to the other side. This is actually just like a balcony here. And... Oh, there's a save point there for some reason. In case you want to save inside the castle. There we go. Hello, my beloved. Chosen one, my job is really hard. Please comfort me. Oh, you're a good girl. Hey, hey, hey. Energy tablets. Ooh, we, did we ever get those yet? Because they, uh, that's a pretty good item, actually. It's like the HP version of Spirit Bottle, which means all party members. It's like an apple gel for all party members. Hello, my cute princess. Oh, hi, it's the Chosen. Hi, whatever, she said. Fine pellets. And yes, we can flirt with little girls, too. That's how low Zelos has sunk. The secret is to flip the fly frying pan with your wrist. Okay, I don't care about you. Hello. Hi, you're charming. No, no, Zelos. No eating. No, no eating. That's weird. And then you give me something to eat. You all kind of. That'd be funny if she gave me like an actual food item. I think they eat. You know, when you use an, a melange gel or any kind of gel, you eat the gel. So you basically just told me to not eat, and then you gave me something to eat. All right. I think we got the whole castle. And now it's time to go down to the middle district. This is a little bit tedious. Most towns don't take as long as Mel Tokyo. Hello, my beautiful rosebud. Chosen one, will you play with me? Miso. Ooh, that's kind of a rare item. Rare food item. He even flirts with the old elderly ladies. Zelos has no boundaries whatsoever. How are you, madam? Chosen one, how are you? He does not discriminate, discriminate by age or class, or anything, which is, well, it's good and bad. <laughs> some of those are good, some of those are bad. Were there any ladies in this shop? Negative, okay. Oh, well, actually, how much money do I have? No. Well, how many? Well, actually, I don't know. I'll come back later. I'm not going to go shopping again in this episode. I've already, I'm already doing all this, and it's time to wrap up pretty soon after I'm done. 
being a social butterfly. But, you know, Zealous is a social butterfly. He's got more energy for that than I ever will have. Um, I've missed you, honey. Zealous! Heart. Hi, heart. Um, uh, let's go in the Coliseum. Can I flirt with you? Can I flirt with the... Sh that's a woman behind the desk. Yes. Working hard, dear? Oh, chosen one. As you were, as you were. I'm not here to get in the way. Hang in there. Okay, please come again. Can we compete in the Coliseum? Zealous is pretty good in the Coliseum, by the way. Um, rune bottle. You can get some pretty great items through this, not gonna lie. Like, you can get some rare items, like hourglasses and uh, all divides. Like, yeah, you can get some pretty good stuff through this X skill. So, so you know, I'm glad it exists. I'm glad it's part of the game. It's amusing. It's it's it really solidifies Zelos's whole shtick, his whole like you know quirk. It's more than a quirk. It's it's pretty much a flaw because nobody should be this like you know superficial. But we are indeed out for a walk. And of course, you know, you want to make sure you talk to everybody you can before certain towns become unavailable, uh, due to plot reasons or whatever. Nothing like that has happened yet, but just in case, I like to uh, do everything on the first trip through any town. Whoops, oh, I didn't mean to shoot you with the sorcerer's ring, I'm sorry. Okay. It'd be funny if you flirted with the cats. Cats can't. Some of the cats have to be female, right? I mean, cats are like a. Cats have physical genders, don't they? I don't know. They, or maybe they. Maybe their anatomy is totally different from humans. IDK. So. Uh. Do I have to go behind the desk? Did you just give me like 700 gold? See, yeah, wait. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. So I can't flirt with her because she's behind the desk. So I don't think I can ever flirt with her because I can't go behind the desk. Okay. Let's see how it is. And see a bottle. Oh. Apple juice. I mean, you know, this does help. Oh no! What did I do? So yeah, we're going to have Zelos on screen a lot in this game from here on out. Which, uh, you know, if there's one thing you can admit about Zelos, he's, well, I don't know. I'm sure Zelos would love to hear us tell him he's easy on the eyes. A lot of people think so, I guess. He does have all those women who flock around him for some reason. I don't know. It's hard to see what they see in him, you know, at this point. But they're kind of the same personality types. Rich snobs, <laughs> basically. We got a pineapple gel, that's fantastic. We're even gonna flirt with all the scientists. He doesn't even care if they're half elves. You know? Yeah, it's, it's like she just said, you know I'm a half elf, right? Uh, okay. So these are all the dudes. What did you say? Sorry, I missed that power produced by Summon Sphere should essentially be the same as mana. Then even if mana were lost from this world, it would be it were, if we were to use the power of the Summon Spheres, we might be able to preserve the world. So, interesting theory, interesting bit of, you know, lore or something like that. Like, it, when the mana is all dried up due to the, you know, declining world uh, phenomenon, do the Summon Spirits die? Do they... Uh, don't they need to be awakened in order to awaken the mana in the world? You know, the summon spirits? I don't know. But. Hello, madam. Okay, where's Aerith? I'm gonna flirt with Aerith. I'm sure she would not take kindly to that. She only has, has eyes for. Well, Zack. But. And Cloud, sort of. But. <laughs> She's like, what the? What is happening here? Alright, I think 
that's all there is in the slums. I'm sure Zealous would never deigns to step foot in here except for this one time. Yeah, so, um, I think that's everybody in town. I think we got everybody. Yeah. Alright. Alright, well that's it for now. So, with Zelos as our chaperone, we are now going to explore the world of Tetheala at large. We will be doing that next time. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, of course, is cross that bridge over here. So that's going to be quite exciting, won't it? Um, we'll do that next time. This is exciting. New journey, new world at our fingertips. See ya in the next one. Take care.